There we go. Okay. You did well. That's good. Thank you. So this is like the smokeless one, right? There's gonna be like no it's smoke. It's smoke. Back. Smokeish. Less. Okay, smoke light. But not less. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not, not zero. Yeah. So we shouldn't be smoked out by it. I don't know. It would be a nice visual, right? It would. I it's hope smoky. So. Yeah. So near the end of your book, you mentioned uh, talking to a classroom. Yes. Uh, you mentioned if you had had some influences when you were a kid, like mm -hmm. you are now to these kids, mm -hmm. uh, that that would have possibly made a positive dis difference in your life. And that's part of the reason oh. you made, that's part of the reason you enjoyed doing Absolutely. that. I want to, I want to hear more about that. Like okay. what was special about that? Man, you know, it is smoking. <laughs> it's black smoke too. Does that, that indicate a problem? Um, <laughs> we're going to say no. Don't breathe too deeply. <laughs> Yeah, just, okay. don't, yeah, sorry, just yeah. don't breathe really just, deep. Just don't look at it shallow. and inhale. Yes, gotcha, exactly. just shallow breaths. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Like none of this. Yeah, So <laughs> no waffing. Yeah. Uh, so yes, I, I was hoping that when I was younger, there'd be an influence like myself. And I hate saying that. Sure. Because I don't really think I'm an influence. Sure. But I don't, it, it would have been nice to see someone that I could aspire to that was doing something that I was interested in. Right. Because a lot of people in your network, whether it be friends or family or you know parents in a lot of cases, mm -hmm. sometimes your parents aren't doing what you see yourself doing in X amount of years. Right. So it was challenging to try to find and reach out to those people. Like if I wanted to do automotive work or if I wanted to do you know, you know know cancer research or anything like that, sure. you need people that are currently in those roles, yep. you know, to kind of help you formulate ideas for what you'd want to be, like a nice groundwork. Right. I didn't have that, so it was difficult for me to really, you know, visualize what that would look like. Yeah. You know, picking someone's brain, you know, what's your day-to-day, -day, yep. what kind of things do you do in your in your off time. So it was that was definitely challenging. But I could tell when I talked to the kids that they were inspired by it. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh, like you do this? Like, yeah. That's, that's really cool. Like, and you do this all the time. This is your full-time job and you get paid. And it's yeah. just like, yeah, that's how I do it. And this is how I started. So it's, it's definitely good to see that for sure. It was good to see them kind of awaken and say, wow, well, where we started, we're not terribly, you know, rich or like wealthy by any means. Mm -hmm. And we could make it too. You said you wanted to do, I think in your book, you said you wanted to do more of it too. Um, yeah. That sort of outreach to, sort of those little, the little ripples you can put into the world, those little echoes. I would like to do more traveling and kind of like helping kids yeah, figure it out. for sure. That, that would be neat.